This is exactly what I needed exactly in this time of my life. It helped me in that. Was it, it my punch in the face that did it? Yes, that also helped. Oh, yes. The Special Forces world is extremely dangerous. These celebrities are about to find out. Yes. Welcome to Special Forces Season 2 Debrief. I am Dr. Drew, the moderator today. These guys were in freezing temperatures in New Zealand. Icy, freezing water, dangerous temperatures. What was the hardest part about the cold in Season 2? Being wet and cold was by far the worst. You would change into your dry kit, but your feet so would wet. still be soaking wet. We would get out of the water. We, they would swap us out into dry clothes, which wouldn't be dry for very long, and then you're just moving, moving, moving. You will change rapidly. Go! Everything's a race. It starts right now. Let's go. I would never so think of changing my clothes as that difficult. <laughs> he was like, what are you doing in there? I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying to change clothes. But apparently, it's yeah. much harder now than it was yeah. the rest of my life. I tried to put a pair of pants on, and I don't know how. I remember, like, anything that could go wrong went wrong the yeah. first time we had yeah. to change. Like, shoelaces were knotted, and I'm, like, being yelled at. And I was like, oh, this is terrible. Right? It's a horrible yeah. start. My zipper is stuck. Have one of your recruits pull it down. I'm not your goddamn baby. Babysitter. Which staff member intimidated you the most? You. Without Q. question. Oh. Billy. Yeah. Billy. Your biggest problem is your attitude, not your knees. He was on me bad. It was at that moment. I was like, you know what? I'm about to just leave. Like, my knees completely went out. But you kept going. I kept going. Yeah, y'all pushed me. Thank God y'all pushed me, because I was, I was over it. You did? You kept going. Like, there was one time I got in trouble because I didn't pick a big enough rock. You weak. Let's go. All my strength was lower body, not so much upper body. People will succeed on this course by being a true version of themselves. This is what you came here for! Like Robert, you have family in the military, right? Yes, my father served in the military for uh, 18 years with the Army, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to do the show. And it seems like a great challenge, and this is going to sound crazy, but it also seemed fun. Yes. 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 yes! How quickly did that happen that you became a group? Right away. Right away. Right away. Yeah. yeah. First time they threw your hood off and looked you directly in the eyes. What was that experience like for you? I've never been flung so hard. I'm like freaking out because you can't like breathe out of that thing. And when he takes the thing off, I couldn't help but laugh. Like that was the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about some of the crazier things that happened. I bought, I bought like 57 packs of cigarettes in. <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, before we like, got our uniforms, I snuck them so good inside and outside pockets and my original clothes. And I thought it was amazing. Then I have to take them off. I'm like, oh, shit, how am I going to get these pants into this? So I'm throwing the cigarettes on the ground, thinking no one's going to see me. All of a sudden, we're done with the first one. He's like, Tara. Come here. I thought I saw you squirrel something away into your pockets. Uh, what about this, this, this? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> These cots, though, too, uh, they were so loud. They were the loudest cots. So if one person moved, it was like, rah, rah. It, it, it... Trust me, Tom, we know. Your ass wouldn't I sit know, still. I know, I know, I know. For some reason, like, Sandoval thought it was a great idea. In the middle of the night, puts on a headlamp and goes and rummages around to find tape. I'm always rummaging around And I finally just shit. sit up, and I was like, Sandoval, lay it the F down. <laughs> you like, just hear, stop. <laughs> I need to talk about the mirror room for a minute. It, what was it like to open up to the DS in the mirror room? How you feeling? Not as good as I want to feel. I saw the humanity of the DS in that room. Keep your head in the fight. You really need to be here. I was at my breaking point when they brought me in. I was ready to just say, you know, screw this. But you, you could tell that they just, they knew your limits. Mm -hmm. But you've got to remember, we're not here to hurt you. Yeah. We're here to help you. Do you guys feel like you've made lifelong friends here? Yeah. 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 We've learned so much through each other, and it's like, that's what made the whole thing worth it. This show strips you to your core. In this real world, there is no freaking safety rope! Oh my gosh. 